Hi everyone. Through this class, we are going to study about rotational fine structure of electronic vibration transition. Ignoring centrifugal distortion, energy levels of rotating diatomic molecule is H divided by 8 pi square IC J into J plus 1. Where H is the Planck's constant, I the moment of inertia, C the velocity of light and J the rotational quantum number. It can take value 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And H divided by 8 pi square IC is rotational constant B. Therefore, energy of the rotating diatomic molecule is Bj into J plus 1 centimeter raised to minus 1. By Born-Oppenheimer approximation, total energy of diatomic molecule is sum of its electronic energy, vibrational energy and rotational energy. Therefore, change in total energy is equal to change in electronic and vibrational transition plus change in energy due to rotational transition. So, this can be written as delta epsilon equal to delta of energy due to electronic transition plus energy due to vibrational transition plus delta Bj into J plus 1. Wave number of spectroscopic line is written as nu bar equal to nu bar of V dash V double dash plus delta Bj into J plus 1. Here nu bar V dash V double dash is the wave number corresponding to electronic vibration transition. Next we consider the selection rule. There are two different selection rules. First we consider 1 epsilon to 1 epsilon transition. 1 epsilon is a state with no electronic angular momentum about internuclear axis. For these type of transitions, delta j equal to plus or minus 1 only. And for other transitions, delta j can take 0 or plus or minus 1. Here also there is one restriction, j equal to 0 cannot undergo a transition to higher j equal to 0. But j equal to 1 to upper j equal to 1 possible, j equal to 2 to upper 2 possible, 3 to 3 etc. transitions are possible. For 1 sigma states, only P and R branches will occur. And for other transitions, Q branch also will occur. So first we consider P branch transition. For P branch transition, delta J equal to minus 1. That means upper J value minus lower J value equal to minus 1. So change in rotational energy, delta of Bj into J plus 1 is B dash J dash into J dash plus 1 minus B double dash J double dash into J double dash plus 1. Now put this J dash as j double dash minus 1. So, this is equal to b dash into j double dash minus 1. Then next term is j dash plus 1. So, it is j double dash minus 1 plus 1. So, it is j double dash. Then minus this b double dash j double dash into j double dash plus 1. So, this is equal to minus of b dash plus b double dash into this j double dash plus b dash minus b double dash into j double dash square where j double dash is 1, 2, 3, etc. Because the first transition is from 1 to 0. Next one is from 2 to 1. Next one 3 to 2 and so on. Instead of this j dash, if we change this in terms of j dash, here it is j double dash equal to j dash plus 1. So, this equation it is also equal to minus of b dash plus b double dash into j dash plus 1 plus b dash minus b double dash into j dash plus 1 the whole square. Where the upper j values that is j dash can take value 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. Here it is 1, 2, 3, etc. Therefore, total energy change 
in this p branch here the frequency we can write it as nu bar p that is equal to nu bar of v dash v double dash plus change in rotational energy that is minus b dash plus b double dash j dash plus 1 plus b dash minus b double dash j dash plus 1 whole square centimeter is to minus 1 where j dash is 0 1 2 3 etc for our branch lines delta j is plus 1 that means j dash minus j double dash is plus 1 so j dash equal to j double dash plus 1 so change in rotational energy equal to b dash j dash into j dash plus 1 minus b double dash j double dash into j double dash plus 1 now put this j dash as j double dash plus 1 so it is equal to b dash into j double dash plus 1 into j double dash plus 1 plus 1 minus b double dash j double dash into j double dash plus 1 now it is equal to b dash into j double dash plus 1 into this j double dash plus 1 that is j double dash plus 1 whole square then this j double dash plus 1 into this 1 that is equal to j double dash plus 1 v dash is common so we can take it outside and for the second term here it is b double dash and this j double dash that we can write it as j double dash plus 1 minus 1 that into j double dash plus 1 so the first term is b double dash into j double dash plus 1 into j double dash plus 1 that is j double dash plus 1 whole square then this 1 into this j double dash plus 1 so it is minus j double dash plus 1 now we can combine this b dash and b double dash together so it is b dash then here it is minus here also there is one minus so minus minus it is plus b double dash into this j double dash plus one then plus second term it is b dash minus this b double dash into this j double dash plus one whole square here j double dash is 0 1 2 3 etc so change in energy that is equal to nu bar r is equal to nu bar v dash v double dash plus this change in energy in this first equation j dash is a constant number and it can take value 0 1 2 3 etc and in second equation j double dash is a constant number and it can take value 0 1 2 3 etc and these two equations we can combine by one equation like this nu bar pr equal to nu bar of v dash v double dash plus b dash plus b double dash into m plus b dash minus b double dash into m square centimeter raised to minus 1 where m equal to plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 etc here the positive m values will give r branch and the negative m values will give p branch and note that m cannot be zero here when j dash or j double dash are zeros then here it is zero plus one so the starting value is one next we consider q branch for q branch delta j equal to zero that means j double dash is j dash so change in rotational energy equal to this b dash into j dash now we can put it as j double dash so j double dash into j double dash plus 1 minus v double dash into j double dash into j double dash plus 1 so it is equal to this b dash minus v double dash into j double dash square plus v dash minus v double dash into j double dash here j double dash can take values 1 2 3 etc we know that the transition from lower j equal to 0 to upper j equal to 0 is not possible so change in energy that is nu bar q 
that is equal to nu bar of v dash v double dash plus this change in energy. The rotational fine structure of a particular vibrational electronic transition for a diatomic molecule is shown in the figure. The R, P and Q branches are shown respectively at A, B and C. And the complete spectrum is shown in figure D. Since M cannot be zero, no line from P and R branch appear at this band origin. And if B dash is less than B double dash, the P branch lines are on low wave number side. And the spacing increases with increase in M value. And for R branch lines, the line spacing decreases rapidly with this increase in M. And it reach a maximum wave number and begin to retrace towards the low wave number side. When it retrace, the spacing increases with M. Since many rotational levels are populated, even at room temperature, a large number of P, R and Q branches will appear in the spectrum with comparable energy. Intensity of band head will be greater because several R branch lines are crowded at the band head. The Q branch lines are not apparent even if it occur. And we can divide the spectrum into two different cases. First one, when B dash is less than B double dash. Here, the band head appears on higher wave number of the origin. Such band is said to be degraded towards red. So, tail of the band where intensity's minimum is towards red. Second case is for B dash greater than B double dash. The Q branch spreads to high wave number in this case. And the R branch consists of lines with increasing separation. And the band head will appear in P branch to low wave number side of the origin. Such band is degraded towards violet. Normally, all the vibrational bands in an electronic transition are degraded or shaded in the same direction. But the different electronic transitions in the same molecule may show different shading. So the observation of shading may assist in the analysis of complete spectrum. However, it may happen that different shading are also observed in bands belonging to same electronic transition. This is because of the B dash and B double dash values. If B dash is less than B double dash, it may reverse its sign for some higher vibrational levels. But this behavior is very rare.